I'll never forget Sally. She was in the middle of our networking plaza at Social Media Marketing World and clearly frustrated. It looked like she was making a beeline to leave the event. So I stopped her and I said, hey, how's it going, Sally? And she said, awful. Nobody understands. I can't get an answer to my questions. I'm thinking about leaving. And I said, well, tell me more. And she said, I need to get answers to how to do certain things in Instagram and no one seems to know the answers. Your staff can't help me find the right sessions. I can't find anyone who's an expert. I'm done. And I said, would you mind if I tried to help you? And she said, I'll give it one last try. So I said, let's grab the program and let's study it together. So I grabbed it and we found three sessions that were about Instagram. And I said, you know what? Each one of these experts I know can help you. Here's what I recommend you do. Plant yourself in the front row of that session and be first in line when it's done to ask questions of those speakers. They may or may not answer your question during the session, but I guarantee you, if you're first in line, they will spend time with you and answer your questions. So she went and did that and I found her later during the event and the, her disposition was completely transformed. She had had an amazing event and I, that's where I realized I had applied this principle that Andy Stanley teaches, which is do for one what you wish you could do for everyone. That is a profound principle that if we apply that within our conferences, it can revolutionize it. It starts what I call the snowball effect. Imagine if you will, every person at your event, everyone on your staff, all of your volunteers, maybe even your speakers, if they have this mindset, what if I make one person's day today? And if you've got a hundred people trying to make someone's day every day, and more than likely they're gonna do it more than once because they it's contagious, you can't stop with just one person. So imagine the effect on your event culture if your staff has the mindset, I'm going to make somebody's day today, and they go out of their way to do it. It doesn't have to cost money. In fact, most often it's a human effort like what I just did. It doesn't take a whole lot. I remember going to Eddie V's one time, and it was the first time I went there actually, and I didn't know where the bathroom was. So I went to the hostess stand, and I said, hey, um, can you tell me where the bathroom is? And they said, well, it's a little confusing, so would you follow me? And so they literally led me on this maze through the restaurant, and she led me to the outside of where the men's restroom was and said, here you go, sir. Now I never will forget where that was, but more importantly, I'll never forget the level of service that she provided. It didn't take a lot of effort. You know, it was probably only 50 feet away, but it was a little bit of a confusing effort. So she understood that it was confusing, but she went to that extra effort of helping me get there. I also will never forget Malene. Malene is from Denmark and she came to our conference one year when we had moved from being at the Hyatt, now we were at the convention center in San Diego. And Malene went to our information desk and she had a question. She said, would you show me where the closest drugstore is? I need to go buy a toothbrush. Well, one of my staff knew that we had spent a lot of time thinking about what's gonna cause someone to leave the convention center and maybe never return. And we had identified three things. One is they might need a place to work. One is they might need a place to kick their feet up and rest. And third, they might need a toothbrush. The first two were easy to solve. We had a workstation, we had a quiet zone, but in the case of the toothbrush, my staff member said, Malene, would you follow me? So they walked together and she led her to the women's bathroom and they went inside and she said, look, here's a basket. It has toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, and dental floss. Help yourself to all that you need, however much you need throughout the event. Now, Malene was blown away. She said, man, if they have thought about that detail, they've thought of everything. The truth is we hadn't. We had anticipated that problem and we provided a creative solution to it Again, doing for one what we wish we could do for everyone. Not everyone at the event needed that. Not everyone worries about brushing their teeth. Maybe they just throw a mint in. And so we also had mints around the building. Some people remember to bring their toothbrush with them. Um, not everyone forgot to bring their toothbrush with them. But we, again, it's this mentality of doing for one what we wish we could do for everyone. I'll close with an example from the Disney theme parks. One of the things that Disney's great at is creating personalized experiences at scale 
And they've been able to do that because of their creative use of RFID, um, which is the technology that goes in the bands that lets you know who is where in the event and they can store certain data in there. So they know if it's your birthday and they know if you're age six and they know that your favorite Disney character is Princess Belle. And so when it's when they know that you know, your daughter, we'll say it's my daughter Lydia, is at the castle having lunch on her birthday at age six, then they know to bring Belle to meet her at noon so that so that Lydia can have an amazing experience. Well, they do that with this technology. So if we can figure out how at scale, we can create those personalized, one of a kind of experiences, making people's day over and over, we're gonna create a snowball effect of moments and experiences where people keep talking about it and it becomes memorable, it becomes meaningful, it becomes momentous, ultimately becoming unforgettable. My name is Phil Mershon, author of the book, Unforgettable, The Art and Science of Creating Memorable Experiences. You can learn more by following this channel. Just hit the subscribe button and go have a great day.